Welcome back to Pirates YouTube. Last week I did a video on the Django debug toolbar, but there was one cool feature I forgot to mention, and that's the debug SQL shell. So let's uh, quickly show that. So if I go into that shell and I import some models, um, I can do a typical ORM operation. And not only will it give me the result, I will also see the underlying SQL query. So that's pretty cool. Let's look at another example. For example, when we have relations. So for that, I will use the user book table, which is a one-to-many with book, with the book table. And let's get the last item, which is a book Julian read. But we see a bunch of queries here, right? We see the user book table gets queried, the auth user table gets queried, and the book table. So there are three queries. So it's kind of useful to see that, right, with this tool. So then we can also show the select related, which I explained in the N plus one video, you can see here. And you can see that we can, what it actually that select related does under hood, which is the join as explained, but we can now make that very apparent with this tool. So if you use select related book last, now I should two, see two queries, right? So the now it's uh, doing a select with a join. So it joins the book table. So that's one query less, but we still have that second query on the user table. But select related um, can do two joins. So I can list both relations. And now we're down to one query because it did uh, two joins now, one on the user table and one on the books table. So now we got it down to one query. So the debug SQL shell, a feature of the Django debug toolbar, uh, by the way, that video is here, um, can really help you see what the ORM does SQL-wise under the hood. So that's a powerful Django debug toolbar feature I forgot to mention. So uh, just this follow-up video to make sure that uh, that's another thing you know about. Uh, because again, as I said last time, ORMs are powerful, they're convenient, but they can also uh, cause inefficient SQL queries. So that's uh, something you definitely always want to look at with the debug toolbar. But if you want to do that with the convenience of the shell, you can do that as well. I hope this is helpful. If you want to see more Django videos, comment below. And uh, tomorrow we're back with another video. Thanks for watching.